love of the engine, fill her up with gas, hold on to your helmets because I'm Lucio Rudretti. This is Al Bunser Jr. and Ruerson Gangapaldi, and we're about to speed through a lot of jokes for you. And why? Because I hereby most officially declare today, Moose Car Races Day! Hey! Now, where does a car engine live? I don't know, Moose Where does a car engine live? In a motorhome! <laughs> Ruerson Gangapaldi! <laughs> What has wheels and goes slush, slush? What? A carpool! <laughs> <laughs> and fellow racers, what did the car say to the gas pump? Car say to the gas pump? Tell me, what? You can't fuel me! <laughs> fuel me, fool me, get it? Got it. Good! And now, let's race and take a look at another winner from the Wiggles! It's Wiggle time! <laughs> Red car rolls along the street And to all the people that we meet We like to say hello Say hello To the people that we meet In the back of our and Dorothy At the fair the sword and the free They like to say hello Say hello To the people that they meet the horn on the big red car We ride along and we travel far Because there's lots of people we can meet In our big red car Ahoy there, we hearties! The road we travel is a bumpy ride You know there's not a lot of room inside As we sing our song Sing our song As we ride along The horn on the big red car We ride along and we travel far Cause there's lots of people we can meet In a big red car Funny looking car. It may look funny, but it has special features, top secret stuff. For example, get engines go! <laughs> Minor malfunction, get engines go! <laughs> oh boy. Let's try one more time. No thanks. Get engines go! <laughs> Nice car. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Any kind, as long as it goes over a bridge. <laughs> what would you call the life story of a race car? What? An autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> now let's shift gears with a rhyme from Grandfather Clock. Thank you, Musio. Uh, this Jamie the Mouse tells of a lost canary named Pete. Uh, Jamie's off to find him, but there's someone else to meet. Now the captain will begin, and you can see the rest. The secret is revealed along with our mystery guest. Thank you, Grandfather. Today's story is Jamie and the Canary. When the widow arrives home one morning, she makes a terrible discovery. The canary cage is empty and the door is wide open. 
The widow opens the door and calls, Pete, Pete, where are you? What's the matter? Jamie asks the cat. The chicks call, the widow forgot to close the door, and now the canary has escaped. Yes, but the widow doesn't know that Pete the canary can escape from the cage any time he likes. Oh, dearie me, says the rooster. Maybe he's gotten lost flying around the garden. You'd better go and look for him, decides Yang, the golden car. Pete, Pete, where are you? Pete, come back. Crop the dove flies up high in the sky to see if she can see the bird. It's noon before one of the chicks finds the canary. It's lying on its back with its feet in the air. It's dirty and bedraggled and hardly breathing anymore. What a sorry state, mutters the rooster as he shakes his head. Come on, make a stretcher for him. A very miserable procession arrives at Jamie's teapot. Joe Sparrow carefully starts washing the little bird. But what's all this? This isn't paint at all. It's another bright yellow canary. The bird opens its eyes and says, Oh, I got lost. My name is Petronella. I flew out of my cage and couldn't find my way. Petronella bursts into tears, and the chicks seek protection under the wings of Mother Hen. Yes, but where's Pete? Jamie sets off in search of the canary. He looks everywhere but can't find Pete. Suddenly, three black crows fly up squawking at the far end of the garden. Jamie is startled. He's afraid, but who's that? Pete the canary. He's sitting happily eating blackberries. Jamie steps forward and says sternly, Hey, what's going on here? We've been looking for you all morning, and you're just sitting here eating blackberries. Long live freedom, exclaims the canary. I'll never return to my cage again. Look at all those lovely blackberries, and there are plenty more over there. The canary is very stubborn. He doesn't want to go back. Jamie keeps talking, but the canary doesn't want to listen. He just keeps eating blackberries. Then Jamie has an idea. Come back with me right now, you crazy canary, or else. Jamie points to the house with his paw. Otherwise, Petronella won't wait for you. Jamie turns around and heads back to the widow's house. Interested, Pete flies along behind him. I have a visitor, Jamie. Who could it be? Jamie doesn't answer and strides on. Pete is very curious and joins him. They reach the widow's house. Pete sees the other canary. Petronella is sitting on a perch in his cage and singing a lovely song. Go on, says Jamie sternly. You have a visitor from town. Go on into your cage. He does so. The two canaries immediately become friends. They even kiss each other. All's well that ends well, thinks Jamie with relief, and returns to the garden. Yang the golden carp asks, How's Pete? Just listen. They can hear the two canaries chirping cheerfully all the way at the other end of the garden. And so ends our adventure with Jamie the Mouse and his friends. Now it's time to leave Widow Greendale's garden, where kindness, fairness, and friendship are cherished. Jamie waves goodbye and heads back to the little white teapot that he calls home until his next exciting adventure.